Today's video from Sam4SL, we're going to demonstrate how to program barcode products onto your NR500 series register. In this video I'm using the model 510R, uh, but the process will be the same um, across the range. So I've got my barcode scanner set up, I've got my memory allocation sorted, um, now I want to start adding uh, individual barcode products. Um, so in this video we're going to show you how to do it. If you haven't done the um, port configuration and setting up the scanner, uh, check out the video I've done on that which will be, appear at the end of this one because you'll obviously need to do that before you start. And then also if you haven't done it yet you might want to have a look at your memory allocation if you're doing barcode scanning because out the box this series of machines the default memory allocation only has a thousand PLUs on it, but you can play around with the memory allocation to get that up towards the advertised 6,000. Um, if you're not at that stage yet, I would highly recommend checking the video out, um, which explains how to do that because you can only do it once. Once you've set your memory allocation up, um, to redo it, to change it, involves wiping all the programming you've already done. So this video presumes you've done that and you're now ready to start adding your barcode products. So the first thing to do uh, is to turn the metal key marked P round to the PGM position. And then line one, PLU, has already got the little arrow next to it. So we press cache 10 to go into that. And then we go again, cache 10 for add and change. And then one PLU, so it's add and change. Next thing we do is scan the barcode. So it comes up um, with the settings for that barcode product, um, which is some flash cleaning product. So we'll first thing we'll do is we'll give it a description, which is the top line. So we press cache 10 to go into the description and it comes up with the barcode. So if you have a look, the barcode number on the product that I've just scanned is the current uh, description. So we will type in, we'll keep it simple. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that the um, programming of these can be a bit fiddly. You've got the alpha keys mixed up with the function buttons over here and then the PLU buttons here. You'll notice that I double pressed F, but the backspace is over here, which is crucial. Uh, you've also got a double size there and space there. So we'll carry on. We're looking for L. Which is over here. We've got our description in, so we then press cash to save. We then come to price Halo 1, so we want to set the price. Just type in the price, no need to enter the decimal point, the tilde does that for you. Cash to save. And then preset basically means the item is preset, yes. And then preset override means you are allowing um, overrides. So we don't want that, we change that to no. So you go into it and then arrow down. Yes, no, it's just a toggle. Cash saves. Tax rates, so this will depend on how you've set your tax up on the machine. So my till, um, I, haven't, can't, I think I've done the tax rates, but I know I'm going to have tax rate one set to 20% VAT. So this is a VATable product. So it's, it's crucial to get this right. It's not in the groups that controls the tax. It's within the PLU. So you need to double check what rates you've got set up and then know in your own mind um, which VAT category you need to put your products into. So this product is going to be taxable by rate one. So go into it arrow up for yes save and then double check that you've got taxable by rate one is yes and all the others should be set to no the group is defaulted to uh, one so you can ignore group hash two and group hash three these lines are not important that's um legacy programming from higher up machines where you could send things to kitchen printers and that sort of thing if you're setting groups up on your NR500, then you only need to worry about line nine, group hash one, and my product is going into group one, so that's fine. If it wasn't, cash tend, and then you can just type in the group number. Let's put this one into group three, so we clear that. Group three, cash, save, and now you can see. It's worth taking your time with the PLUs because the data's got to be right for it to mean anything. 
Um, a lot of the other settings, so negative item, that'd be really unpopular. You might use that for bottle returns or deposit returns. Single item is single item cash sale. Um, a lot of them you'll just leave set at the default setting. In fact, I think I've changed the only ones you're gonna you're gonna ever want to really change. So when you're happy with your programming, cash tend. Oops, sorry, no. Clear once you're happy with your programming, and it will take you back to the adding PLU screen. So I'll just do one more, and then we'll test them in the reg mode. So from that screen, scan the barcode, cash ten to go into the description. The default description will be the barcode. Um, I'll just give this a really brief description to shorten the video down a bit. L A M P cash to save give it a price so you arrow down cash to go into it no need to enter the decimal point and again here preset yes is correct override you can leave that on if you want or you can change it to no taxable by rate one is defaulted to no so you've got to be really careful to set these up correctly so tax rate one is yes and the others are all no group I'm gonna have this one I'm gonna leave this one in group one so you don't need to do anything um, so that's it I'm not going to change anything else clear and then again at this point you can now scan your next barcode or what we're gonna do is go back into the reg mode so once you're at program mode with the main PLU group settings on there turn the key back to reg and then we'll scan our flash comes up with the description and the price on the screen and there you can do multiples 5x time allows you to sell five of the pre-programmed product subtotal card payment and then if you need a copy receipt if your receipt switched off so then that description appears on there as well really quickly We'll do a X report, so manager mode, X reports, PLU, PLU sale, all. So then down there at the bottom are the two I've added on, lamp and flash. Just one thing to bear in mind on the 500s is that these buttons here are not groups or departments, they are PLUs as well. Um, so just you can't put your barcode products within these buttons um, you are putting them into groups which is a separate report so if we come out of here and we're going down to group and if you see my group programming you see that I've set group one to be grocery and group three I haven't programmed so it's got no description but uh, you can do that it's really easy I've done a video showing you how to do that which I'll pop at the end of this video um, so yeah I hope that's been helpful um, as I say we've got plenty of videos showing you how to get the best out of the NR500 series uh, I'd re-emphasize it's really important to get the memory allocation and stuff like that correct at the start rather than rush into it and then realize you could have had more out of the, the register so feel free to check out the videos that are appearing on screen now don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel for more information you can visit sam4shelp.co.uk thanks for watching